Okay, guys, the other day, I think it was like the other week, I showed you the LCD hooked up to the Atari. This time it's actually hooked up to my Commodore 64. Basically just doing the same stuff, plugging in and switching out the plugs and stuff like that. So you can get a closer look. Lighting's probably not much better here, but got my overhead light on this time. Here's obviously my disk drive. And here's my, um, here's my Commodore 64. And of course, over here is the laptop with the display. Probably see a little bit better. Run into the display there with that Commodore 64 screen. And then over here, of course, is my Samsung VCR. I guess this will be a shorter one. Hopefully you can see the plugs this time. I'm gonna, gonna move them around a little bit here. Here's the plugs on the back of the VCR. The AV is plugged directly, whether that be the AV in, plugs directly from the back of the VCR into the AV out on the back of the LCD. And then I actually have um, right here, this is actually a plug that goes directly from here all the way over to the Commodore computer. Basically it's just a monitor plug. And then there's a cable, obviously, just like last time, running back here over to the converter, which um, it's an HD HDTV. Let me look at it. Pinnacle HDTV uh, converter. They might still sell those. I bought that a couple years ago. And of course, over here is the big LCD screen running the Commodore 64. So you've kind of seen all that stuff over here. Some diskettes, of course. I never parted with my Commodore 64. I've kept it for over 20 some years. Had it in storage and just decided to pull it back out. So I got a game kind of loading up here. I'm gonna kind of start that here. You probably see it loading the screen there. It's the old load screen. Basically loads a machine language program. And this is Technocop. See it over there? And on the monitor, you see both right there. Kind of an old game. It's got some pretty cool music though. Commodore. I'm gonna go zoom on this. Zoom's not working. Start this one because the music kind of repeats over and over again. Start fire. There we go. Most of them you start with a joystick in those days, just pressing the fire button. Just like that, it's loading now. Hold it like that so you guys can kind of see a little bit better. It's gonna be kind of hard to drive this thing with one hand, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Actually, you just have to kind of push forward. I us shoot these cars. So it's, you can bump them off the road. They kind of blow up like that. It's a pretty cool game now. Kind of revolutionary for Commodore's beginning now. We'll come back here a little bit. I see the whole display now. It's 
guy just ain't dying, is he? Sorry to hold the camera with one hand. I think this make it to this level. I got it wiped out. Anyways, that's the Commodore 64 running the LCB. Everybody remembers the Commodore 64, I'm sure. 8 bit processor, 64 bit computer. It's kind of ahead of its time. And then of course the Amiga took everybody by storm. I do have an Amiga too, maybe eventually I'll hook up the Amiga, but right now I just thought you might want to just see the LCD with the Commodore running on the laptop basically. For those who don't know, you can record video directly by using what's called Pinnacle TV Center. They probably have a newer version because I bought mine several years ago, but pretty much, um, yeah, it's kind of, um, I think I made it actually, let's see. Just to catch the bad guy in this. Anyways, I'm kind of getting distracted here, but. Yep, he's gonna pull over now. So it's, the next level's pretty cool, too. Maybe I'll just post a video on that anyway, but here's getting out of the car. But can't see that. And then all these, they always want you to flip the disc over. That was kind of the standard for Commodore. Yeah, double sided density disc. You can just basically. Let the disc over. We're on the next level. I think I'll cut out and I'll just record this as a separate video, but you can see them both load in there. This one is real crazy, but anyways. You kind of just navigate through this little section. Yeah, kind of a split screen going there. I forgot how to even play this game killed me already but that, that'll be it for now so once again Commodore 64 running from the laptop to the LCD